Hello and welcome my Virgo singles. I am Pisces Intuition here with a love reading for you. All right, so Virgo, we're going to be looking into kind of what's been holding you back or maybe some things that you need to clear up in order to kind of move forward um, towards a new love, what kind of connection that's coming towards you, and some traits about this person, what kind of person's coming towards you, you know, what, what do they look like, things like that. Um, keep in mind, these are still general readings, so not everything may resonate with your situation. That's perfectly okay. Take what does and just leave what doesn't. All right, Virgo. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. So it could possibly be getting out of a relationship where there could be a past love that's strongly on your mind um, or vice versa. Um, you could be strongly on someone from your past mind. Um, we do have the queen of swords here, six of cups, nine of swords, and the eight of cups. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hmm. Could possibly be an age difference between your, you and your person. I'm over here looking at the Three of Swords. Underneath that is a Page of Cups. It almost kind of feels like self-love. It almost kind of feels like a runner-chaser situation. I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. Um, it kind of feels... I do get an age difference, though. But I do get, like, runner-chaser type of relationship. Um, or, or maybe it's off again, on again, something like that. But I do get that coming through very strongly. Um, with the Queen of Swords, I feel like maybe you had to put up your boundaries or, um, you know, again, this is kind of like wanting communication. I get where there's lack of communication, wanting to kind of know where you stand. Um, I do get communication, a need for communication, but like I said, a lack of. Um, Six of Cups, this is really kind of being nostalgic, really kind of reminiscing. Um, again, I feel like you're strongly on someone from your past mind. Um, hmm. I feel like there's almost like um, I don't know, it feels like something got in the way or something kind of ended maybe a little abruptly um, because I keep getting uh, almost like unfinished business or something, um, like things weren't closed out or something along those lines, but it feels like somebody had to walk away, but again, it just feels like somebody wasn't ready to let go or something like that. Um, because I do get a lot of pain. I do get a lot of heartbreak. Um, but, you know, walking away also is making room for something that's, you know, coming in, something new that's coming in here. Although, <laughs> Virgo, I have to be honest with what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. It kind of feels like you may be the first sign <laughs> that I'm doing out of all 12 that um, that is having a past person return here. Um, well, actually, I still have water signs to do. So... So yeah, so out of nine signs that I've done, um, it, it still kind of feels like you may be the first with uh, somebody from the past returning. Okay, let's see. Let's see my singles. What is going on here for Virgo? Ooh, I'm liking this. Okay. Uh, Queen of Swords is being clarified by the Ace of Inspiration or Ace of Wands. Queen of Inspiration or Queen of Wands. And then that beautiful Empress card. Okay. Um, so I am getting water, air, and fire. But then there is earth. Um, so a little bit of all the elements. Hmm. Okay, I do feel like there's a new beginning here. Like I said, I do feel like communication is coming your way. And I do feel like it is coming from your past. Now, with that being said, I'm still feeling like there is a new energy. And I feel like you're going towards a new energy. But it kind of feels like you may have some options here. You may have to choose between someone from your past or someone new coming in. Um, for some of you, you do want this person from your past because I feel like both of you have been heavily thinking of each other. Again, I keep getting like um, a closure issue or still wanting to talk. Like again, not wanting to let go, but for some reason we had to, you know, so not wanting to break up because there's still love here. But for some reason we had to let go. This could be, you know, my, I, I'm getting a job in a different state, so we have to break up. Well, all of a sudden, you know, I am able to get this transfer, so I'm coming back to the state. I want to know if we can pick up where we left off. I still have feelings for you. I still love you type of situation. Um, so, again, I do feel like something just ended where they didn't want it to end, and I feel like you feel the same. So it's not like this person from your past cheated on you. Now they're having regrets, and I'm not getting that at all. I'm just getting something ended that didn't want to end. 
So I do feel there is someone from your past coming in, but I also feel like there's a new beginning here with this person. I feel like you're excited to hear from them. I feel like there's some good communication. Um, for those of you who aren't resonating with that, that's okay. Because again, I'm feeling there's a new person that's coming towards your way. It actually kind of feels like you're walking towards this new person. Um, so you're going to meet them. All right, clarifying the Six of Cups here. Um, <laughs> we have the Knight of Inspiration or the Knight of Wands. We have Ten of Voices or Ten of Swords. And Six of Inspiration or the Six of Wands. Um, I do feel like I have to go back because I feel like you are, like I said, ready for a new beginning. I feel like you're really feeling good. I feel like you're feeling confident. I feel like you're getting in a good place. And like I said, I feel like you have options here. Um clarifying that six of cups, I do feel like you are going to be pursuing some passions. I do feel like where there was an ending, it wasn't wanted. <laughs> and I feel like it's going to be coming back. I feel like you've, you know, heavily been on this person's mind and they're going to be reaching out to you. They want to reach out to you. Um, this person could have possibly been watching your social media, but I do feel there's a big opportunity here that's going to be bringing your person um, back to your life. So where timing was an issue before, you were meant to meet them. You just weren't meant to be together just yet long term. I feel like they're coming back and I feel like, you know, again, timing is a thing. And this time, you know, second time is a charm. Um, now for the new person that's going to be coming your way, I do feel like this person is definitely getting your attention and vice versa. Um, I feel like you've caught each other's eye. I feel like there's a lot of chemistry and a lot of flirtation here. Um, you could have just recently left behind a relationship or maybe this person did, but I do feel like, you know, both of you are in a good place. I do feel like both of you are ready to flirt. Both of you are excited about the future and about this new beginning that you are both embracing. All right. Clarifying the nine of swords, we have the eight of inspiration or eight of wands. Um, we have the star card, so it could be dealing with an Aquarius. And we have the strength card, so it could be dealing with a Leo. All right. Or I should say these are people coming towards you. All righty. So where there was stress, there was uncertainty, there was just a lot of overwhelming kind of sleepless nights, anxiety, all that fun stuff, right? I feel like you're releasing that. I feel like you're, again, making room for something new. I feel like you're getting ready for the next chapter. And we all know that can be really stressful. So I'm really not shocked to see that Nine of Swords here. Um, I do feel like there's a little bit of overthinking and hesitation on your part as well. But again, I do feel like overall you're embracing this new beginning. You're moving forward. Hmm. I keep getting like something happened a lot quicker than what you expected though. So I'm not sure what that's pertaining to, but I do feel like something happened quickly. Um, but I do feel again, communication is coming your way. Um, I do feel like you've been very patient. I do feel like this person has been very, been very patient, wanting to contact you, wanting to reach out. Um, I do feel like I keep getting like stars aligning. I do feel this person is destined. You know, again, I keep getting um, timing, like timing was a huge thing in your in your uh, situation here. All right, Virgo, let's clarify the Eight of Cups. All right, so we have the Muse of Materials or the King of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Inspiration and we have the Moon card. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have the World Cosmos. Like I said, I do feel like you are going towards a new chapter here. Things are closing out and you're wrapping things up. You're going towards something new, a new cycle, a new chapter. Um, and I do feel like this is a fresh start. I do feel like there's some excitement here. There's definitely some good things that are coming your way that you're happy for, you're excited for. Um, I do feel like somebody is bringing in or kind of opening up some emotions in you that maybe is kind of, you know, making you feel a little bit... Like, I should have my guard up. <laughs> um, and, you know, that's okay. That's okay. Um, I just feel like it's because it's still kind of fresh. You know, you're you're starting kind of like, I don't know if I want to have these emotions just yet. I just walked away from this connection. And like I said, it kind of feels like you're walking towards this person. You just don't see it yet. You don't know this yet. Um, but I, I still feel like you're still kind of dealing with your own heartbreak, your own, um, you know, your own emotions. That's what I'm trying to say. So it still feels like you're kind of showing up a little bit guarded. Again, nothing wrong with that. I do feel like this person is looking for commitment. I do feel like this person is very loyal and I do feel like this person is very patient, very encouraging. Um, I do feel like, you know, again, things could kind of go very slow for you. And again, that's all right because it's not a race. Um, I do feel like you could, this or this person coming towards you could possibly be a water sign as well. Um, I do get Pisces and Cancer. 
Um, hmm. Possibly Scorpio, but Pisces and Cancer is coming through the strongest. Yeah. Okay. So I do feel, you know, again, I keep getting like this person is very patient. I keep getting this person. Um, I keep getting like leader. Um, so I don't know if maybe they're like um, the owner of a company or like a boss or uh, something like that. But I do get like this person um, is like a leader in whatever field they're doing. I do get something about um, like a pilot. Um, I keep getting professor, um, pilot, professor. And then I get someone in... Not necessarily, well, I guess this is like maybe a therapist or because I keep getting like a really good listener. I keep getting like a problem solver. I keep getting like helping people, something like that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like a therapist, psychiatrist, something like that. But I do feel like this part could be, you know, just some kind of counselor or something like that, you know, very important. Um, but I do feel, again, this person is a really good listener. Um, and I don't feel like you're going into counselor or going into counseling and then you fall in love with that person. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> no, Virgo. It just feels like um, that's what this person's occupation is. That's what I'm getting here. So that's what I wanted to address. All right, let's go ahead and let's get some traits for this person. We have optimistic. It kind of feels like this person is restoring your optimism as well, kind of letting you see the glass half full. Um, I keep getting like, I'm not a pessimist, I'm a realist. <laughs> so I don't know if one of you guys say that, but I keep getting that coming through. Um, we have age difference, so there could possibly be an age difference between you and this person. We have red hair. We have risk taker. We have black hair. Okay. We have loyal. Definitely getting that with that um, Leo or strength card, card of Leo there determined, tan complexion, short, short could be you, short could be your person, that just kind of more or less means like, you know, height difference, like somebody's going to be shorter, we have hard working, you know, like I said, determined for sure, dyed hair, so again, this could be you, this could be your person, piercing eyes. So they have really kind of deep eyes, like those eyes that just kind of stare into your soul. Um, and then we have playful on the bottom. So it does feel like this person knows how to balance work and play, knows how to have a good time, knows how to be lighthearted. So that is really important here. All right, let's get some Oracle cards. And, you know, to just remind you, this could be someone from your past. This could be, you know, again, someone uh, new coming in. Okay, I'm taking that top one. These two are underneath. I'm debating on taking them. Um, we have a year, so it could be a year since you've seen this person from your past is what I keep getting. Release control. I do feel like, you know, you were heavily on their mind. They're heavily on your mind. So this is just kind of saying like, again, timing things. So don't, don't freak out and try to control the situation or... Because I get somebody kind of getting like numerous readings from like different readers or something about this person just for confirmation, um, just for, you know, just kind of to make themselves feel better, I guess. Um, you know, and it, it's, it's one of the, I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking that. I'm not saying, oh, that's, you know, you shouldn't do that. I'm just simply saying, you know, because I, I get it, but I'm just simply kind of saying like, you know, just kind of release, like, you know, again, divine timing, things will happen when it happens. And what is meant for you is always going to find a way. Um, patience is running thin. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like you guys are ready for that next step. You're ready for that, um, that next chapter in your life. Then we have days and we have new moon. So this person could be coming in rather quick. Um, you know, in just a matter of days. Um, let's see, we just had the new moon. Full moon is coming up in a matter of days, actually. Um, but the new moon will be next month in March. So again, it could be anywhere between, you know, days to um, around the new moon in March coming up. So, all right, Virgo, that is what I have for you. So hopefully this helps. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, the rest of your week, and take care.